Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the second video of flying around in paper vision. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about the DOM and what that is, because we built uh, our engine of flying around built on the engine of the DOM and on Flex. Now, the DOM sounds like a religious experience, I know, but it actually stands for Document Object Model. And using that plus Flex gives you a one-two punch. I mean, you no longer need MySQL. You can work with XML files. You can work with XML flat files as if it's a database. Now, MySQL uh, typically has something called the CRUD. You can create, write, update, and delete, and then uh, MySQL does the sorting. But with Flex and the DOM, you have all these possibilities with the nodes. You can create nodes, duplicate nodes, insert nodes, remove nodes, replace nodes, manipulate modes, find nodes, transverse nodes, and uh, find properties. Well, you can do the same thing with MySQL, but here this is all done to with flat files but if that's all you could do that would not be enough you need to be able to sort and that's the great thing that flex brings to the table is the ability to sort on the client side now I want to tell you this is very important to understand that in order for this to work properly and fast you cannot use the typical database normalization you have to break the rules of database normalization so in database normalization very briefly uh, it's usually a table to table situation where everything's reduced to its very basic element and put in another table and you keep stringing tables together and you can't do that in flex because if you do it just take too long about a year ago actually about two years ago now I wrote a what I thought was an incredible flex uh, blog and I used perfect normalization and you'd wait for 30 minutes for the thing to load and now with uh, breaking those rules of normalization using what I call a table, fi table file configuration the things come up right away and it's just amazing to see this work so well and I don't know how I thought of it, but I did. And it, basically what we're using now are breaking the rules of normalization and using what I call a table file a configuration to uh, do these XML flat files with the DOM. So I uh, just want to explain that a little bit. I'm going to show you some examples here real quick. And then we're going to talk about loading the Carlotta file into uh, paper vision. So what I want to do now is show you what some of these files look like. I'm going to open up an XML file, the topics file, for example. Let's open this up in Flex text editor and you see basically just XML and I have my data and my set and I have the plain name the animation name where the file is located and then the XYZ coordinate and a theta angle so that's a table and that table is going to refer to a file and the file is going to refer to, refer to is the my XML my files animation file right here that's going to pull that up and show you what that looks like so it's in MXML uh, my files is going to my files so it calls the file right here Let's open that up in a text editor. And so in that, you have all the data for that particular uh, animation. So you have the, uh, it came from a closed captioning system, why we're using the closed caption here. Caption, you have the state, those are the 12 uh, button presses, and then the time that it started at. So that's how it works. So basically a table referring to a file. Note these are small chunks of information. So when you click on a topic, it doesn't sort through huge amounts of data. Just a small piece brings that file in and... Uh, begins running it, sorting it briefly in Flex and begins running it. Now the downside of this is you're going to have hundreds of tables. So the outside of this, Flex doesn't care. I mean hundreds of tables of what? Of small, you know, K, small K tables. 10K, 5K, 1K tables. So, you know, and the computer can keep track of all that. So it's a very fast system and I'm very excited about it. Let me show you some of the PHP used to uh, create that. So we're going to look at the insert file right now and later on we'll go to uh, show you a whole series on how to use the DOM in uh, Flex. So let's go to uh, uh, the update table right here. So I'm going to open that up in uh, a text editor. And this is what it looks like to program the DOM in PHP. The first thing you want to do is create a DOM document and then you want to call that particular XML that you're going to update. So once you've actually uh, called that file then you're going to refer to one of the nodes and then we're going to start with data item 0. At that point you're going to create a new element and you're going to append to that element. And what that new uh, and append does actually appends it to the very end of the document. So that's a very nice uh, part about being able to insert new elements. And so and from that point we're going to actually start inserting to that element uh, the actual uh, node, my type, and the actual uh, text node. So uh, there's a lot of stuff here but I just want to show you what it looks like. It's actually not difficult. 
Uh, it's a little different than what you might have been used to as far as programming and the way you use PHP. But once you get used to it, it makes a lot of sense. I actually had to stare at this for maybe a couple of weeks before I understood it, and that makes total sense to me. So that's just that's how it is. I think once you look at something long enough, you believe you understand it. So let's move on from there. I just want to show you that quickly. Uh, in this particular program, there's only two types of files. There's a create a file and actually a, um, insert a file. And the other one is to look up a file. So actually there's three types of PHP files here. So that's how we are, and let's move on to actually inserting Collada into the flying application. At this point, I actually want to grab the Collada file that I made and put it to my uh, uh, program so I can fly my plane around. So let's come along here and grab the Collada file, and I'm going to grab the images as well and copy those. And I'm going to go right to Flex. And I'm just going to paste that right into the SRC folder with the rest of them. And hit yes, they're all because some of the uh, JPEGs are already there. And see, so let's take a look at my Carlotta file. It's right here called MyJet for the Web. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come along here and I'm going to paste it right into my uh, Flex file so I can get it running. So right here you can see we have already got a file uh, that's being loaded as a DAE file into uh, that's called Red Plane. We're just going to go ahead and grab that. I'm going to hit my Control F on my keyboard, bring that over, and that's going to give me the ability to find and replace. Okay, and I'm going to just put the name that I want to replace, and that's my jet for the web.dae, and I'm going to replace all. And so now what I've done, I've actually inserted my new plane into the program. Let's go ahead and run it and see if my new plane's in there. Let's see if we recognize what we built. Okay, now this still looks the same, and it looks the same because I didn't replace the button image when I did that. But let's click on that and see if we get the new plane. Oh, there it is. That's our new plane. You guys recognize that? That's right. That's the plane that we have spent all this time building. And, oh, it's, it's a shy plane that's bringing it out here. There it is right there. Isn't that fantastic? That's the plane we've spent all this time building for the past week or so. And let's hit a rotation key here. Oh, there you go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And actually, it looks pretty good. Now, look what's wrong here. The pivot point is wrong. See how long, far the pivot point is from that? We're going to go ahead and fix that pivot point right now. Okay, we've opened up MyJet for the web, and we notice that the pivot point is too high. So I'm going to hit Control-A to select everything. Excuse me. There you go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it down. About that far, and I'm going to go ahead and save it again. And I'm going to expect, export for paper vision, and I'm going to grab that Carlotta file, throw it in, and see if my pivot point looks better. And if you've had headaches with uh, with pivot points, it is this simple to fix. So I'm grab that Carlotta file, I'm going to put it back in the program, and see what happens. Okay, we're back in Flex. We're going to paste our uh, new Carlotta file into the Flex file, and go ahead and yes to all. And now let's run the program and see if we changed our pivot point or not. Let's choose to craft. There it is right there. I'm just going to move forward so we can see that a little bit. And let's go up a little bit so we can actually see it. Then I'm going to hit my A key now. Oops, wrong key. Then my D key. And look at that. Perfect. I'm right on the pivot. Isn't that fantastic? Fantastic. I mean, that's great. And, and it's that simple. And everything's pivoting just wonderfully. I'm just ha ha totally happy with that. And so that, that just shows you how easy it is to change the pivot point by just moving it in the application and putting it back in. Hey, tell you what, uh, I'm happy with this. Uh, you may have a better way to do it, but it's, this is so simple and easy. And if you've ever worked with the model that you've got and you, it's not pivoting at the right point, <laughs> you've got a heartache. So you can do it mathematically, of course, but uh, this is just a real simple, uh, easy way.